What is up, freaks and geeks? SoCal Leatherface here with another episode of SoCal Reacts. And today, freaks and geeks, who are you going to call? None other but the Ghostbusters. We got a brand new trailer for the Ghostbusters. Frozen Empire has a set release date of March 2024. Now, we have all been getting excited of the leaked photos that have been going around of the filming of this movie. I'm just so excited to be finally watching a trailer. Back in 2021, with the Ghostbusters Afterlife, we had Jason Reitman directing our film with Gil Keenan as one of the writers. Now, this time around, 2024, for the sequel, we're going to go ahead and switch gears here and we got Gil Keenan taking over the lead as a director, while now Jason Reitman is going down as one of the writers for this one. We can welcome back some of our original Ghostbuster stars from 1984, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and Bill Murray, carrying on their roles again, as we've seen at the end of Ghostbusters Afterlife. They got them to go ahead and get the suits back on and gave everybody the sequel that we were all waiting for. Now we did get a film in 2016 that I just don't quite put in the storyline along with the Ghostbusters. It's kind of its own little adaptation film and I just don't quite put it into the storyline, but it's there. We're also gonna get back fan favorites from Ghostbusters Afterlife like Paul Rudd, Finn Wolfhard, and McKenna Grace who I feel did an amazing job in Ghostbusters Afterlife. She really carried that film, and I was really believing that she was Spangler's granddaughter. Now that we're all caught up on who's going to be a part of this film, let's go ahead and finally dig into this brand new trailer together. So let's hit that play button. Alright. I'm telling you, it's going to be another hot one out there. In fact, there are heat alerts in effect for New Jersey, feeling like 100 degrees. It has been hot lately. Oof. Don't remind me. <laughs> what is that? What was that? A t oh. No. I <laughs> ice oh damn that's why it's frozen empire I thought it was a tidal wave at first like but oh man now we're getting damn oh everything's freezing over and the firehouse this spring the first time in New York history people froze to death in the <laughs> middle of July what is it? The death chill. The power to kill. The death by chill. Fear itself. Your veins turn to rivers of ice. Oh. Your bones crack. And the last thing you see is your own tear ducts freezing up. Oh, damn. Like, literally scared to death? <laughs> so cool. Fire it up, man. Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Wow. And that's it. Woo. Man, Frozen Empire. I mean, the name implies, right? Yeah. This time around, ghosts are actually people. I know that the ghosts were like scaring people before and I'm sure like some people died just by like this or that but said that everybody froze to death one day that's crazy it's got to be something that the Ghostbusters can handle and this time around it seems like we're getting so many more Ghostbusters like it's not just the kids you know we are getting back our original Ghostbusters from what it looks like and we're getting just a few more people I mean I mean, anybody could be a Ghostbuster, right? Just slap on the suit, slap on the Proton pack. But um, wow, oh, now it's just a wait till 2024. Like I said earlier, I've I've seen that this is going to have a expected March release. In all reality, that's not that far away. We got a lot of busy seasons coming up. You got you know your Thanksgiving, you got your Christmas, you got some things to get you over. Maybe you got some fun, you know, New Year's Eve plans. 
that's gonna hold you over until we get to March, and I'm hoping they don't push it back. This is definitely a film that Corpses for Conversation has to cover when it releases. Are we gonna get some more episodes of the prior films before this just to lead up to it? It's possible. Anything's possible, but I cannot wait for this one. I was really loving the Ghostbusters Afterlife. I feel like it was the sequel that all of the fans really deserve after all that time since we got the second film. And with the same writers and directors on board, for this sequel, I have a lot of faith in this, guys. Do you guys think from this trailer that it's going to be just as good? Is it going to be better? Is it already looking like it's just going to be worse and it's just a cash grab? I'm not sure how many sequels are looking to push these new Ghostbusters in. If they're going to get a trilogy, are they going to get a quadrilogy? Honestly, I don't really care. I loved Afterlife so much, and if I love this one just as much, I'm just going to hope they keep on coming. Keep the originals in. Not to say that the new cast does not impress with their acting performances. What are your thoughts on this trailer, Freaks and Geeks? Do you think this is going to be a great film? Do you think it's going to be a flop? What do you guys think? I want to hear from you guys. Go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you love about this trailer. Tell me what you didn't care too much for. Let's just have a conversation about this. Thanks so much for joining me and unpacking this brand new trailer of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. As always, I am SoCal Leatherface, reminding you, if you ever hear a bump in the night or see something you cannot quite explain, you know who to call. And as always, be kind and rewind.